So I started this video and lost it somewhere in computer land and I'm redoing it. So um, the first video was really awesome. So I'm going to try to duplicate it for you. Because so far only I've seen it and I thought it was awesome. And I would have subscribed in a second. Anyway, so this is video two of my journey of um, all the things that I'm working towards, my goals, everything I'm trying to do. And I want to share it with you. And I'm hoping that I get some subscribers to help motivate me and keep me accountable. Um, obviously, I'm not doing it for the money. Anyway, so I have a lot of books that I write in, a lot of lists. I love to write lists. I love to highlight things that I've completed off my list. I don't cross them out because I like to look at my accomplishments. Um... And I'm a big procrastinator, so I will start and I'll stop. I'll start and I'll stop. I'm in a huge lull right now, so I started watching videos on YouTube, and I was like, you know, I need to share my journey again, so here I am. Um, so I have all my books here that I'm going to go through with you, and I know you can't wait. Anyway, my first book is My J. So my very, very good bestie best Val gave this to me. And I didn't know exactly what I was going to use it for. I wanted to journal in it, but I journal. And then like four years later, I find the book and I'm like, oh shit, my journal. So I decided not to do that. So because she's really special to me, I wanted to make sure that this book was not something that's going to be put aside and wasted. So in this book, I have all of my ideas about my debt, my debt freeness, um, videos that I watch, I take, I take notes. Um, I found some amazing videos. Me and my friend Sharia, who passed away way too soon, used to constantly listen to Dave Ramsey's Money Makeover. We had our books. We would meet up once a month. We would go to a Panera and take our books out and whatever, or Ikea. We used to meet at Ikea too. Oh, Ikea. Anyway. Um, so our dream was to go on the Dave Ramsey's show and scream, we're debt free. And because unfortunately she can no longer do that because she's not with us anymore, I'm going to do it for both of us. Um, I love Sharia and I wish she was here and I miss her a lot. But anyway, so, um, Val gave me this beautiful book and this is my plan. This is what I'm putting in it because these things are super important to me and it's important for me to write down the ideas as I hear them because I don't always remember things. I kind of, yeah, I don't always remember things. So the next book I want to show you is A Year of Zen that my beautiful cousin Samantha gave to me. And it is so uplifting and it's so beautiful. And it has different things that you write in and um, I color, you know, I make, I draw, it has me drawing pictures and it just, it keeps me totally grounded. It's a beautiful book. Um, if I can find it online, I will put the link. Um, of course, in the first video, I said I was going to put the link and I didn't. So hopefully by the time I do this, I will have the link. I don't I can't promise anything. Um, okay. So Year of Zen, it's something that you only have to fill out once a week. So it's not like I feel the pressure and anxiety because that's my problem. I feel anxiety. Like when I had Julian and I had the baby book and I was like, fuck, I got to write every shit and fart in this book. And it gave me anxiety. Like it gave me anxiety that I was going to miss something. I was going to forget something or... I wasn't going to explain something completely. It gave me a lot of anxiety. So I like that that is just like a weekly thing. So this is my main bitch. This is my main book. So um, <clears throat> I spoke in the first video about Lula. I don't know if in my past videos I did. I, don't know. Um, I was also part of the Living Fit Club, which is now named something else. And I, for some reason, I just cannot remember. Um, but I would definitely Google that. And if you can be a part of it, you're pretty lucky doing that. It cleared my head so much. First of all, I, whatever. Okay. 
I finished my book on it. So in these books, I have my bucket list for 2023. Um, I write a bucket list every year. Sometimes I do it by seasons because I overwhelm myself with ideas. So on this book, in this, on my bucket list are simple things like Pokemon Go, going to the dog park, going to City Island, um, easy things, Coney Island, I can't see. 10 roller coasters, stargazing, blah, blah, blah. So this is stuff for Julian and I to do. And my favorite thing is to highlight it. I don't cross anything out on my list. I highlight it so that I can go back and I can enjoy the fact that I completed this and I can read it. When you cross it out, it's like, I feel like it's like if it was never there. So then we have the completed busted, um, bucket list. One thing on here is my bar class. So now that I can walk, I'm being more active. Unfortunately, I cut my foot today, so I'm not like, yeah, um, I'm scared. I get scared because I've had so many surgeries. I had nine surgeries. Um, my foot... My toes have been amputated on my left foot, which was very hard for me to accept. But I understand now, because now I feel like I, I'm alive again. Anyway, I've always wanted to do bar class and, like, do, like, ballerina shit. And it is one of the hardest things I've done, but I did it. I got a free trial. Um, and Wednesday, I go to Pilates, got a free class on that. I can't afford the membership. But why not take a free class? With that, um, I also, there's a gym over here that is giving away, a, not giving away, but they have a week free trial, RX Fit. I'm going to try that. One of my neighbors does it, and she loves it. So if I can figure out a way to afford that, I will. So completed bucket list. Then we have our random acts of kindness, because if you're not living a kind life, then what kind of life do you live in? I don't want to know you. Um, then we have our our completed random acts of kindness. So my biggest thing right now is my finances, things I want to pay off, things that I am paying off, Julian savings, future savings, financial independence, and security. So one of the things I love about these books is my coloring. I fucking love my colored pencils. Anyway, so I have my, my set goals of... What I want, my main goal is to have enough money to never need to depend on anyone. So I get disability um, and I get part of a pension that I get because I was a, a federal worker at the VA hospital. And I, I'm like, I'm okay, but I don't get to save as much as I would like. So I am going back to school. Now that my foot is better, I do have to have back surgery. But um, I'm told that it's not going to be as bad as my original back surgery, which took me eight months to recover from, um, that it's, it's not as bad. So I'm going to start school. I'm going to be doing it virtually. So even if I have back surgery, I can just get online and type the shit out of my papers. Anyway, and that's going to give me that security that I'm looking for because I want to have an abundance of savings. So God forbid something should happen, I have it. So that's my security. So I have the year of self-care, 2023. My 50th birthday was last month. And four of my friends gave me a gift certificate to a spa. And I can't wait. That's And that's on my list. But I also have things like meditate, manifest. You know, it, it only takes seven seconds to put it out to the universe. If you do it constantly, you got it. Rewards for me. One of the things I want is the mirror. Do you know what it is? You put it up on the wall and it turns on and you do exercises with it. And if you want to buy it for me, I will accept that. Just say it. Anyway, that's one of my things. Um, routines. So as I said, I procrastinate. I go through depressions. I go through, and I don't really go through depressions. But I go through like uh, periods of extreme anxiety. So with my foot being the way it was, I couldn't take a regular shower. And eventually I would, it was just so hard. 
and I, you know, I would put the thing on my leg so that I can go in. I had a chair, whatever, and somehow my foot always got wet, and it was so, showers were for like special occasions, and you might be like, ew, she's dirty, fuck that, I'm not, I'm not dirty, but I want to, like, one of my routines, and I've been doing it, is to take a shower every day, to check my feet every day, um, so my on my ongoing goals are things like lose 75 pounds, graduate from school, have a better relationship with money, um, to be debt free house included. So, you know, that's like a good 10 year goal. Um, so yeah, workout routine, bar fitness. That's right. I'm going fucking ballerina. Um, so this is our vacation for the year. I try to take Julian on one vacation every year. And, um, every year we also go to bear mountain around my mom's birthday. Um, the whole family goes and I try to do one trip and I realize I have to scale back starting next year. Although next year we're doing a road trip um, because I want to save money unless I have a better income, but we're going to Florida. I have the list of everything I need. Um, list of stuff. Okay. That was a big book, I know. This is my daily cash flow log. Um, so I just started this one in February. And there's already five pages. And I put every shit and fart in this book. Because I really want to see where my money goes. And I see that I have too many subscriptions on the TV. We got rid of cable. And I have too many subscriptions. So I'm gonna, I want to see what I can, what I can't get. Too much um, running to the store for this and that of shit that we probably didn't need and whatever. So um, at the end of February, I'm going to go through it. I'm going to highlight changes that I can make. This one is our Italian book. We're learning Italian, Julian and I. Not really. I'm trying. This is another book of goals. This is from 2018 when we moved into the house. Um... I keep it because it's a good book. I'm one of those. I keep it. So this I have. This is my planner. Although I put everything in my phone, I also put everything in here. So if anyone in the house needs to know what's going on, it's in here. Now, okay, let me show you this other one first. This was my original financial book. And I got it because, um, it's pretty. But I have, I'm using it as my savings tracker. This is my book book, aside from the other book book. Um, so I had spoken about Ula, and I spoke about it in the first video. And um, so if you don't know what Ula is, I suggest that you Google it. I've met the guys that wrote the book twice. I'm not up to date on all their books. I know that they have a Ula book for women. My friend is in it. So, of course, I, wrote, I read that. Plus, I just love them. And one of my goals is, I don't, and I don't even know if they do it anymore, was the Ula Palooza. Uh, I, want, I, wanted to go, I wanted to have the money to go, and I wanted to go. Because listening, so what I do, I read the book, but I'm not a good reader. It takes me sometimes a couple times to pass over a page before it sticks in there. So, um, so this is, anyway, they have the seven Fs. Um, finance, field, fitness, fun, family, friends, and faith. So I got these stickers at one of the seminars that I went to and I put, you know, put it with my goals and everything. And you write it as if you do it. I attract like-minded people. Um, these are for my friends. We lift each other up with positive energy. My friends are honest. I respect my friends as they do me. So some of these have already come true, like owning my own home and my foot has healed. Um, it's amazing. So I am basically finished. I do have other books um, because they're pretty or because oh, it's such a pretty book, right? It's my chakras. Make the world a little kinder. And I do write in it periodically. I try to... 
I try to tell myself it's okay not to write in it every day. It's okay if I skip seven months and it ends up being a year, whatever. It's, it's okay. And that's really hard for me, but I'm working on it. So these are all my books. Um, I am going to, if I actually do the link, I am going to put a link to the books that I have, um, books that I love books that I've used in the past and I've actually completed them. Um, I say I'm a lot. That could be a drinking game. Anyway, I don't condone drinking. Whatever, it doesn't matter. You're a grown up. And if you're not a grown up, okay, who cares, right? I'm sorry. So anyway, um, so this is one of the ways that I get myself organized. I do my list. The funnest thing is to cross things off. Um, sometimes I use color pencil to, to color it, and sometimes I use a highlighter. all depends on the mood. And um, I say don't sit and cross it out because then when you go back on it, it's this ugly mess of like cross out shit. Anyway, so this is video two, and this is how I plan on getting my shit together.